guys, so um, I am going to Kentucky Kingdom. I think what this is going to be yesterday in today's vlog is um, because I know that Dollywood down in uh, Tennessee does this thing where if you buy or if you come in after three, uh, you get a full day free or you get the next day along like with the same ticket. Um, Kentucky Kingdom doesn't offer that, but I'm seeing if it would be worth it if they did that. Um, I guess that's what I'll do. Or I can just go. <laughs> it's basically just a, just a reason for me to go because I like going up there. It's a good time to just get away from everything and have fun. So I'll see you guys when I get there. So guys, we made it to, what are you doing? Oh my God, people are so stupid. This is why I hate people. Oh my God. Okay, well anyway, we made it to Kentucky Kingdom and um, there are stupid drivers, obviously. There's one right there that's trying to back into a freaking spot. Anyway, um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just he did it a stupid way. Um, and they're about to hit that car, which it's funny. Um, but I think I'm gonna start with the water park. It's it's still nice outside, but it's cold. It's a little cold, so I might not. Uh, so we'll see what I do. So I don't know if you guys can see behind me, probably not, but there was a car inside of Kentucky Kingdom. Apparently, uh, there was a head dude. Um, don't know who. Might have been Ed at heart. It might have been. Who knows? Um, but, but yeah, I don't know why that there was a car, and I'm still freaking out because there was a car. But anyway, we're gonna go get to my locker for the day. Hopefully it's not $20, because then I'm screwed. Oh look, it's the sea lion show. Oh, the sea lions are out. I might go see that later today, I love that show. All right, so we're already in the water park and it's only 11.20. So we're gonna go ride, and it looks like it's about to storm. So we're gonna go ride the water coaster before it storms and then possibly get some lunch. So, yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain. All right, so I had a fun day at Kentucky Kingdom. Um, I had a little mishap with the camera though. Um, my microphone broke, I tripped and fell. The camera's fine, which is all that matters, but the microphone is, yeah. So, we gotta figure out what to do with that. So yeah, hopefully it's fixable. I hope so. Oh well, we'll figure out something to do. But uh, with that being said, uh, let's go home. So for the past about, I would say, three hours, four hours, I don't know. Um, by the way, I'm home. Um, I've been dealing with something that kind of hit home really, like, fast. Um, this guy who I knew whenever I went to college, uh, and I knew him uh, from a local high school. He uh, recently passed away from leukemia, actually, this morning, which is the morning that I went to Kentucky Kingdom. So the entire day, I just, I didn't know anything. Um, and he was a great guy. He, he was, he... He always, I didn't go to the same school as him, but every time I talked to him, it was always good conversations, and he was always nice, obviously, because he was a great guy. Um, I'm just like, I've been trying to process it for like the past couple hours, and it's just, It's not getting any better, so I'm probably just going to go to bed. But I do want to say this. My favorite memory of Mitchell Henry, which that's his name, 
is um, whenever actually it's it's a it's a it's a story. So um, I was at my local high school's football game, and we were playing. Uh, his my team was playing against the team that he was playing on, but I wasn't playing because obviously I'm weak. Um, but after the game. Um, I went over and I said, hey, I'm going to Western Kentucky as well. And he's like, well, I hope you see you there. And at the conference finals, um, we all, because we won it, and it's our first conference finals win, like, ever. Uh, we all, like, rushed the field, and whenever I went on the field, I went straight for him, hoping that he would remember me. And he obviously did. He was like, oh, my God, Travis, we won. Oh, my goodness. His, girl, his uh, girlfriend, which was now wife, um, up until his passing, um, was there, and we were all just celebrating, it was a really good time, and that is a memory I will never forget, and I'm, I'm happy that he's not hurting anymore, and, um, I'm just, I'm, that's, that's, all I can be happy about is that he's not hurting because what he was going through is a very, very, very serious, serious thing. And it's horrible that he had to go through it. I hate that he had to go through it. Um, so uh, now I'm going to hopefully uh, have in some of his, uh, some of his, uh, plays that he's done, like some, some, some highlight reel of his career at Western, and, uh, some other stuff that I can find, um, but, world's not gonna be the same, like, he, he was gonna get signed to my favorite team, uh, this year, so the fact that that didn't get to happen makes me really sad because I'm just saying he would have he would have lit up NFL defenses. He he would have destroyed them. Um, with that being said, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if anybody in Mitchell's family watches this, um, I'm praying for you guys. I know how hard it is to lose someone really close to you. I lost my dad. Um, as everybody on this channel knows. Uh, so dad's up there with Mitchell now. Uh, I bet they're playing catch, having fun, just making sure we're all okay. So, yeah. Thank you, Mitchell, for being an amazing person, even though you really didn't have to be. You... You were one of the most popular people on the football team, and you remembered me from our little hometown. So, well, not my hometown, but your hometown. So, from the bottom of my heart, um, I'm going to miss you, man. And even though we didn't have that many time, times together, I'm going to cherish the times that we did. So, this one's for you.